Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out in terms of activities bests, like the civil service exam, open at life, fail set, and all of those things. Now, this is actually the quick quiz paired to adding lesson on number problems using the table technique. And if you haven't seen that uh, video lesson yet, go ahead and click the i button here at the top so you can catch up. Because without that lesson, this may not make that much of a sense to you. Um, again, we're going to employ the table technique, not the traditional method. Um, maybe if I get time in the future, I'll show you how to do it, yung traditional method. But since I'm rushing para makaabot to sa mga mag exam na really soon, uh, we're going to focus on just the technique. So I taught the technique dun sa video na yon, and um, if you know that technique, you can use it here. Okay, now in this quiz, you will have three questions dito. Um, I'll give you six minutes for the three questions because I understand this is a rather tricky topic and you will need time. And um, at the end of the, the video, I'm going to explain kung paano makuha yung tamang sagot. Alright? So, if you're ready, uh, let's do this.
Alright, let's see how you did. Okay, let's start out with the first problem. Sabi, the sum of two numbers is 27. 8 times the bigger number is 10 times the smaller number. What is the bigger number? So again, we're looking for the bigger number here. Meron dalawang numbers lang, so our table would look like this. Meron kang uh, smaller number, tsaka bigger number. Okay, so uh, label ko lang, smaller number, bigger number. And then, ang sabi, the sum of these two numbers is 27. So pag pinagsama ko sila, ang lalabas ay 27. Now next, sabi, 8 times the bigger number, so ibig sabihin yung bigger number, times 8 is, so equal siya sa, 10 times nung smaller number. So, pag tinimes 10 ko to, lalabas naman yun. Okay? So, equal na sila. So, ang hinahanap is the bigger number. Now, again, by process of elimination, alam mo, kung 27 ang sum, ang kapartner nito would have been 15, ang kapartner nito should be 17. So, these cannot be the options kasi smaller number na sila sa Paris na yun. Ito, 13, actually, hindi na rin kasi ang kapartner niya would be 14. So, kahit elimination lang, dun pa lang isang tingin, pwede mo na actually hindi isolve. The answer would be 15. Just because, wala siya kapares na mas malaki sa kanya kasi 12 ang kapares niya dito. Pero kung kunyari may isa pang option, which is going to give you siguro uh, 18, so again, dalawa yung bigger number, uh, then you would need to use trial and error. I put it there just so you can see how valuable it is to be relaxed and how to use your common sense sa actual na exam. Okay? So, uh, again, Alam ko na agad 15 na titira, pero if I want to check, I can put it dito sa table natin. 15, ang bigger bigger number. 15 ang bigger number, so 15 times 8 is going to give me 120. Tapos ang kapartner niya would be 12, kasi 15 plus 12 ay 27. 12 times 10 is 120. So if you notice, equal na sila, the answer would still be letter D. So uh, naglalaro na ito doon sa gaano kayo ka, kagaling mag... Uh, multiply, gaano kayo kagaling mag-analyze na isang problem, and how to use your common sense to use that sa elimination na method. Okay? So, the answer is letter D. I hope you got that right. Ma mas madali pa to. Let's move on to another problem. So, number 2, it says the sum of two numbers is 25. Half the bigger number is 4 less than the smaller number. What is the bigger number? So, nilevel up ko ng onte Iba na yung nakalagay, hindi na whole numbers, kasi meron kang half the bigger number. So, ibig sabihin magdi-divide ka niyan. Two numbers pa rin, kaya the table would look the same. You have the smaller number and then the bigger number. So, ang sum daw nila is 25. Pag pinagsama ko sila, 25 ang lalabas. So, ang hinahanap mo ngayon is um, that the bigger number, half of that, so ibig sabihin yung bigger number, times one half or divided by two, pareho lang yun, okay, is four less than the smaller number. So, kung four less, that is minus four, so, ima minus 4 ko, lalabas din siya dapat doon. Yung hanap is the bigger number. Now, in this case, marami ng options na bigger number. Kasi ang 18, kapares niya is 7. Ang 14, ang kapares niya is 11. 20, kapares niya ay 5. Yung 12, hindi na siya pwede kasi ang kapares niya 13. So, siya lang ang ma-eliminate ko by common sense. So, in this case, I would need to try out something. Okay? So, what do I need to do? Okay? Pili ka ng number na lang. So, kung anyari, gusto ko 18. If I put 18 as the bigger number, okay, 18 divided, uh, 18 divided by 2 would give me 9, at ang kapares ng 18 ay 7, 7 minus 4 is not 9, is 3, so ito ay hindi na pwedeng maging sagot, okay? So, tanggal na siya, I would try 14, okay, so hindi na yan pwede. If I use 14 here, 14 divided by 2 would give me 7, and ang kapares ng 14 para maging 25 is 11. 11 minus 4 is 7. So, ibig sabihin, equal na sila. Pareho silang 7. The answer is letter B, 14. Okay? So, again, it's really easy using that. Um, kung mabilis ka na mag-intindi ng equation construction, kung uh, hindi ka naman natatakot sa simple na analysis, or kung kaya mo naman na um, mag-trial and error, you can actually use it really quickly. Uh, to figure out kung ano yung tamang sagot. Okay, so this is number 2. The answer is letter B, 14. I hope you got that right. Now, let's try number 3. Now, uh, I admit, this is a little trickier than the usual. Actually, medyo ano to eh, parang level up or challenge question siya. So, the sum of 3 numbers is 115. The biggest number is 4 times the smallest number, while the middle number is 10 more than twice the smallest number. What is the middle number? 
So instead of two numbers, like the other examples, in this case, you have three numbers. You have the smaller number, the middle number, and the smallest number, the middle number, and the largest or the biggest number. So, yung dalawang column na ganito or dalawang row, hindi na siya gagana kasi tatlo yung numbers sa pinag-uusapan. Now, all you need to do is to add just one more. Ganun lang yan. Yun ang maganda sa technique na ito. Um, kung four numbers, magdagdag ka pala isa pang row. Kung five, isa pang row. Uh, hindi na siya na magbabago yung sitwasyon. Okay? Huwag kayong kakabahan. So, all you have to do is to just add another row. Smaller number or smallest number, middle number, and then your biggest number. Ganyan na itsura niya. Okay? At ang sum daw nila, ibig sabihin, pag pinagsama-sama ko sila lahat, ang lalabas is 115. Okay? Now, the biggest number daw, that's this, is equal to 4 times the smallest number. So, ibig sabihin, yung smallest number, times 4, lalabas yung biggest number. Okay? So, again, we're going to use yung mga bilog-bilog na yan. Nakita nyo na yan dati sa age problems natin na table technique. Uh, babalik lang siya the same technique yung gagamitin natin dito. Next, while the middle number, so that is this, is equal to 10 more than twice the smallest number. So, ibig sabihin, yung smallest number, 10 more than twice, so that would be, pag pumunta siya dito, that would be times 2 plus 10. Kasi 10 more than 2 times. So, 10 more than twice. Lalabas naman yung middle number. At ang pagpinagsama-sama mo sila, dapat lumabas sa 100 and 15. Ang hinahanap, what is the middle number? So, again, we're going to just substitute numbers here. Okay? Now, just by looking at yung, yung options, you can actually eliminate a few. Um, and uh, pagdating sa, sa exam, you can actually gauge that. Now, bakit? Kasi ang middle number mo cannot be 82. Bakit? Kasi yung middle number, dapat ang, i, ang bigger number would be bigger than 82. Eh, pag pinagsama mo yun, imposible na lumabas yung 115. Kasi ang 83, kahit na isa lang ang nilaki niya, 82 plus 83 is 165. So, hindi na ito pwedeng maging sagot. Okay? Now, in this case, ang 54, pwede pa rin kasi 54 plus 55 is 109. So, hindi siya imposible. Kaya tatlo, pa lang, tatlo na lang yung matitira sa'yo. Pero sa actual na exam, kung kunyari lahat sila, imposible na magkaroon ng kapares uh, na... Uh, or sumobra na sila sa 115 pag tinagdag mo yung siya at saka yung a number bigger than it, then you can eliminate that. Kaya lang sa akin, tatlo yung iniwan ko na options na pwede. Okay? So, uh, out of the three, you can pick a number, like, like I said, always pick something in the middle para pwede mo itan siya kung kulang or sobra. So, I would choose 40. If I put 40 dito sa middle number, okay, all I need to do is to find kung ano itong mga numbers na to check kung equal sila sa 115 and I would have the correct answer. Okay? So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Kung ang 40 ang middle number mo, okay, para makuha ko yung smaller number, again, ibabalik ko lang siya. So, ibig sabihin, yung ginawa ko dito sa direction na to ng arrowhead natin, and uh, this is something that I I taught you guys sa uh, table technique na age problems, i-reverse ko lang siya. So, yung plus 10, magiging minus 10. So, 40 minus 10 is 30. Okay? Tapos, yung times 2 magiging divided by 2. So, i-divide ko siya sa 2. Okay, that would give me 15. Okay, now, to check, again, 15 times 2 is 30 plus 10, 40. So, um, yun yung dahilan kung bakit. Alam nyo, ginamit, ginagamit na natin yung backtracking uh, technique that I also taught in another video. Just for me to get back to, to uh, yung smallest number na box dito. So, kung 40 ang middle number, it makes 15 the smallest number. At para makuha ka naman yung big, biggest number, yung 15, ita times 4 ko lang. So, 15 times 4 is going to give me 60. So, 15 plus 40 plus 60 ba? 115. Eh, dahil ang 40 at 60 ay 100. Plus 15, so tama tayo doon. The answer is letter D, 40. And if you notice, if I use different numbers, like for example, if I put 30 here, minus 10 is 20 divided by 2, that is 10. 10 times 4 is 40 lang, hindi na to equal sa 115. So, any number na hindi yung tamang sagot would not fit in the table. So, the answer is letter D. Okay? So, I hope you got that right. If you did, sobrang galing nyo na. If you didn't, okay lang. Balikan nyo na lang after a few days uh, just to, so you can try again. Okay? And um, that's it. And 
If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon para hindi mo miss yung mga susunod pang lessons. Even if I'm sick and a little hoarse right now, I'll try my best to make more videos for you guys para uh, maihabol sa inyong exam. And if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information on upcoming live review events, the online review program, and if you want to get one of the reviewers that I made for your exam. So thanks guys, and as always, um, never stop learning. Anja, anja, kaya nga. I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.